In this video, we are going to talk about row-level security in Jaspersoft using domains. Consider a database with sales data broken up by city, and you want users to only see sales for the city they live in. For this, we will use profile attributes. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as an administrator. Go to Manage Users, and I created a profile called Some Guy. If I click edit here, you'll see that he's got an attribute called city, and the attribute value is San Francisco. You can load these attributes programmatically, or you can load them in by hand here, um, if you'd like. So we leave that alone, and let's take a look at our domain definition. The domain that we're going to use is called the uh, Supermart domain. It ships with the product. You can look inside of domains. It's a sample domain. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like. So I go to create an ad hoc view. I choose that domain, the Supermart domain. I'm going to pick sales and I'm going to create a cross tab. I'm going to select maybe the city. That's the city that's been sold in and the number of units sold. So you see now this domain has no security as far as the city. Any user can see all the city sales. So like I said we want to limit each user to only the city that that belongs to them. So in this case San Francisco has 2,000 in sales there. So we need to modify the domain definition. I'm going to make a copy of my domain so I don't mess up the original. Click copy and I've got a folder here, my folder, paste it, edit the Supermart domain, and let's take a look at this security file. I'm not going to get into the domain designer and where you would get most of the information. This is just a quick demonstration of using domain security files. So when I click there, it actually downloaded the file for me. You see it's been stubbed out for me. Um, I want to open it in text editor. And we see that by default, um, we have some examples. I'm just going to modify the example that, uh, that we show. Let me make this screen just a little bit smaller to get that to fit. OK, so we see we have um, under resource access grant here for row level security. Right now we have a silly one that just does the principal expression gets the who are you. So in this case, um, or, or what, who applies this, who does this rule apply to? And in this case, it's um, get the role name and you have to be a Supermart manager. And if you're a Supermart manager, what it's going to do, it's going to limit the um, country to the USA and the store to California. So we're going to modify this. First of all, the principal expression, I'm just going to set that to true, which will evaluate true for everybody who logs in, which means always evaluate this. And then the filter expression, I should have this in my clipboard. Um, right, let me just remove that bit there. and that bit there because we we already have the filter expression at the end there and so what this is doing um, it's saying the store city is going to be actually I'm going to set it to equals store city equals the authentication get principal get attributes the attribute name city and then the attribute value. So that, that's groovy. That's documented in the, uh, in the admin guide. So once I have that, I'm just going to save my file. I'm going to go back into the browser and I'm going to change the file. So I'm going to upload a file, which is the one I have there, which I just saved. 
Securities file is set. If you made any mistakes, it would let you know straight away. And I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. So now I'm going to go um, manage users. And I'm going to use the login as user feature, which lets me test how the data would look as that user. So I log in, I create an ad hoc view. and I pick a domain the one under my folder pick sales and let's do a cross tab now I'm gonna bring city and I'm gonna bring unit sales and so I'm only seeing the city that I have access to sales by city let's say I'm gonna go ahead and save this ad hoc view in my repository um, you know I don't have many places I can actually save it to okay the reports folder that's fine saved it into the reports folder and I'm gonna do something else I'm gonna come in uh, I'm gonna log out which will put me back in as Jasper admin and I'm gonna add a new user that user will be called some other guy give him a password and then let's give him another attribute to a different city we'll call this city and the attribute name will be Los Angeles um, sorry I don't think I saved that so city Los Angeles click add and click save. Now I'm going to log in as that user and I want to run that um, that view. Let's see, I think I saved it under if I just go to the library view and, and sort by modified date. This is the one that we just created. So if I run that, what's nice about it, I'm only going to see the city that I'm allowed to see without having to reevaluate um, this whole uh, without you know without worrying about oh one user saved something can other users see it and execute it not the case it's gonna be it's gonna be evaluated at runtime for each user okay I hope that's helpful mm -hmm.